Hi everybody, I'm Ethel and today I'll be operating my last flight which is SQ26. It's a four sectors flight so I thought it would be a little bit fun to just bring you guys along with me and hopefully you guys know a little bit more of how a cabin crew day to day life is like. Let's proceed on. I will start off with prepping my face with whatever I can find in my drawer like lotion, serum, blah 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 just make sure my face is moisturized enough to last through the whole flight and I don't look like a zombie at the end of the flight and then I realized oh shit we are running out of time so I didn't have any time to take any video of me making and doing my hair but anyway it doesn't matter because as you can see I'm not doing much with my face just concealing, concealing and the most important thing is the eyeshadow and I also apologize for my Elmo pajamas I just wear whatever that is comfortable and you know just being true to everyone and please don't hate me for your comments I really my weak heart can't handle this shit but anyway let's proceed on with me doing more makeup and in like Two seconds, you're gonna zoom through and this is where we are, at the airport, great! So normally for a long flight, especially like this kind of four sectors flight, we will bring this what we call a cargo bag, which to all people is just a check-in bag. We normally just give our staff number and the flight number for them to check in our flight and make sure it's correct before we proceed to our briefing room. So on the way to the briefing room, I saw a stewardess that we recently flew with together and it was nice to see familiar faces on my last flight. There we go, beep! This is also what we call the control room where we go to our briefing. We have a short briefing before flight, especially regarding the safety of the flight and the flight direction before we embark onto the plane. I apologize for this lousy transition. 14 hours later plus a little bit of nap, here we are walking on the street of Frankfurt. We made it. Just kidding. So normally we just go for a short lunch, why we not, and just have a walk around town. Just like every other human, and this is me being vain, taking video of myself, explaining that summer is my favorite season, but I don't think anybody gives a shit. So yep, let's move on. Mm, well husband appeared anyway, gonna give you guys a break with my voice. And let's just have a moon touch of how it is like in Frankfurt and New York. I'm not gonna spam you guys with my voice. I apologize that my video is useless to those that is interested in joining SQ because I show no techniques or tricks regarding how our SQ makeup is made. But anyway, it's not important guys. If you ladies want to join SQ, they will teach you guys from head to toe, so don't worry. And ta-da! This is the final look. So just focus on the eyes. Make sure you conceal all your damn flaws. Yep. Now I'm gonna prep for my hair. 1000 years later, the home is born. Of 
after the hump is formed, we just have to set the fringe as well. So this is me trying to like see if I look good, if the fringe is covering my eyebrow because that's not allowed. Yada 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 and yep, spray, set and we are good to go. Moving forward, this is how a 777WR crew bang look like. It's also one of our favorite crew bang because we get to sit upright without hitting our head. So let's get some rest and I'll show you guys more later. Ciao! Good morning, I have woken up for my rest and now I'm changing the meal for next meal which is breakfast. So as you can see, it's not just about looking pretty in the kabaya. You need some strength as well. It might look easy, but to be honest, it's really quite heavy sometimes. Apart from that, we also have to change trash time to time. But it's okay, it's my last time doing it. But as you can see, I'm struggling. So my colleague is helping me. <laughs> Thank you. I would also like to use this chance to show you guys that there's a lot of effort put in to make sure the flight is smooth. We prepared for the next meal, make sure that the toilets are clean at all times, you guys stay hydrated with the rounds of drinks. There's enough space to throw trash for a long flight. I'm not sure if I'm going to get heated for saying all this but I hope you guys show some sympathy and understanding towards them and I believe that they will be very grateful for your understanding. Doing my one last check on the cabin and we are good for landing. Once again, thank you everyone for making my journey rescue a wonderful one. Daughter's arms.